Welcome back everyone to the uh, Ducati build where it is time to build a radiator and attach it. Well, I guess, well, yeah, it is attaching it to the bike. So we are gonna have some fun steps here. Move the bike out of the way. Um, a refresher of where we are with the bike. We've got both sides of the subframes attached. We have everything ready for now, a radiator, which will cover up most of this exhaust up front. So what we will do in this step, we will gather all these parts, which is D3. And it looks like that gets painted semi-gloss black. Uh, we have this piece, D13, which is um, LP11, which is a, a Tamiya LP, it's a silver. And LP3, which I want to hmm, red maybe? Let's see how close it was. LP3 is flat black. All right, well, that was close. I know I have that. I know I have that color. It's LP1 that I don't have right now. Um, then we have part D5, which is also... Um, LP11 silver D2 which is also silver and then part of it is LP48 which I believe is flat aluminum or is that 38 LP48 is sparkling silver so it's almost a it's a, like that chrome paint so if that from there to there is chrome the rest is silver and then that attaches to this framework here, which is semi-gloss black, part number B9. And then we take all of that assembly down to here where we attach some fun little vinyl tubing. And then we attach it to the frame. And then we take part D4, which is a lot like D2, and it is LP48 and LP11. So kind of fun, different colors, vinyl tubing, and lots of parts to cut out. So I will go grab some sprues and we'll be right back. All right, I am back with the B and the D sprue. So we are going to need B9. Um, I think the rest is on the D sprue, so we will go grab the D sprue. So D5 is our main part of the radiator. Sometimes I can't get close enough on the sprue. I'll come back and trim all those up at the same time. Um, D3, some little fans. And D13 and D2, well, D4, D2, D13. So let's grab D2. Let's grab D4. And so we've got D2, we've got D5, we need D13, which is right there. Pretty sure that's all the parts that we have right now. All right, so we'll go in and feel for any, any parts that we missed. Cleaning them up. All right, we are back with some painted parts. Everything is painted and ready to go, except for, even though it doesn't call for it, right on these little pieces here, there is a bolt right here that I want to paint gold. So, it just looks like it should be gold. So I dug out 
an old bottle of Model Master Gold because I think it's going to cover better. I have used some of the metal pastes before, but I just can't put my hands on them right now. I was using them on some figure painting that I'm doing, and I haven't found them. So I am going to grab this little bolt right here. I'm going to paint it. And hopefully... It comes out like the way I think it should. It will help just set that off just a little bit. Just one more color before I do a panel line. Panel line wash on it. So, it kind of helps that out. So I will do it also on this piece here because it has another bolt as well. So yeah, old paint still works. Old paint still works. I don't even know if you can still get Model Master anywhere. I don't think they sell it at Hobby Lobby anymore. I may be wrong. Um, don't know. If anybody knows, leave a leave a comment. Let me know because some of their colors. I used to love their metalizers. They airbrush so good, and then uh, every once in a while, I'd be able to use them almost like a panel line on engines. So, I don't know if the light shows that that well, but it looks really gold. I don't know if you can see that as well. Yeah, maybe it's just the monitor I'm looking at, but um, if I turn off this light, nope, still can't really see. It's a big difference to the naked eye, but... Um, I don't know. Pretty happy with it. So we're going to let that dry. We're going to let those two pieces dry while we do some work on the actual bike itself and get step number 19 done and in the books. Maybe time to change out my cleaning solution. All right, so we'll move these over here so I don't hit them or disrupt them or break them. So first part that we need to glue is we need this part here, which I did notice that the cap, oh, I'm way off here. The cap says LP63, which LP63 is titanium silver. So let me go grab that real quick because I forgot that we have to paint that cap. All right, LP63. But I'm gonna paint that after we get everything glued on so I don't have to wait for it to dry. So, um, first step says to glue D13, which is this part right here, it says to glue that to the side. It says glue that to the side of the radiator. So, we'll take a little bit of our glue. I drop it first, that's how it goes. Um, it goes up here on these two little fins. So it goes kind of like that. So we're just gonna grab some glue. We're gonna run it on those fins. And we're gonna go 
glue it right on there. There we go. And then it says to glue this fan. Um, it says to glue it on the radiator, which is kind of interesting because it says there's two notches here and it says to glue those two notches. There's two holes on the back of here. So those holes go on those notches And it says something goes. Oh, okay. So interesting. In test fitting this, I was trying to make it fit down here. But if you look on the back of here, there's a little notch um, with a little hole. And that goes on this peg here, as indicated on the directions. This goes to that peg. These two pegs go to there. So we're going to just, it goes at an angle, which is kind of interesting. Thank goodness for pictures, right? And then that goes right there. So we're gonna take a little bit of glue. We're gonna dab it right in. You know what? I don't want that to flow too much. So we are going to just touch those little pegs. We're gonna get that little peg. Oh, and it went all over the place. We're gonna get that little peg, that little peg. And then, Grab those holes again. And that one goes there. There we go. And that's sitting down tight now. And I did notice one thing that's driving me nuts, which is weird. I don't know why I'm touching this up, but if you've watched any of my videos, you know that I'm gonna touch something up even if it's not gonna be seen. So I'm gonna grab a little bit. Apparently moving from the airbrush booth to here, I've chipped the edges a little bit so the paint chipped off in two, two or three little areas. And I can't have that. <sighs> right, so. because I'll see that every time I look at the bike. All right, so that is on. The fans are on. So, um, now we're going to, we're gonna do a little bit of a panel wash on the parts that we have here right now. We're gonna do a dark gray. do a black um, <clears throat> the radiator screen on the front needs to be done so that way it's black so we're going to just use this Tamiya dark gray and we're going to take these parts here and we're just going to touch let it go around touch let it go around So that worked for that piece. So, same thing here. There we go. 
को लिटल सटल न्यूआंसिस फॉर श्योर बट दे पे ऑफ all and how you want your model to look. I like I like a lot of different um shades and separations and and then just just it just adds a little bit of depth in my opinion. And it's so easy to do. Just let gravity do it. Takes time, but. All right. So, didn't realize that uh, somehow my recording stopped. But anyway, <clears throat> there's that all done with uh, the panel wash and the radiator grills. Um, trying to make sure I got all of them the same kind of color. And like I was telling you well maybe actually it didn't maybe it didn't film but i dropped this piece and my fan fell off so i now have to put the fans back on so and yes this is on the back side facing the engine so i probably don't need to do the back side but i'm going to anyway just in case you can see any of it back there So we can set that back down and try to put our fan back on. All right, the fan's back on. So we can now put the sides. It goes onto this frame here. This little peg right here. Well, I guess I should put this on first, D2. D2 is which one? The more curly of the of these pieces. So that goes on this side right here. touch up here along the edge of the silver it's getting handled a little bit much and some of it's rubbing raw so now we're going to put this little peg through this little hole here and then line it up there where it goes a little bit of glue in here And a little bit of glue down in here. Like 
So it's looking the part already. Still got to paint that. Still got to add our vinyl tubing and then attach it to the actual bike before we put this piece on. So we could test fit it and see what it's going to look like. Let's see how much trouble we're going to be in. I hate wearing my secondary eyes. So it basically snaps into these little areas right at the top, which I may have to wait till that glues. I may have to wait till that's drier. God, I love it when everything goes together so nicely. Gonna have to touch up quite a bit. Just in little little finicky areas, but this little <laughs> this little rod just went straight into where it goes. Uh, this little pipe went straight where it goes. So, yeah, I'm going to paint this little cap as we t as we go right now. I'm going to go ahead and paint that before we go to the next part of the video. So LP-63 for that radiator cap. And then I'll stop the video and get the other things done. And there we go. All painted. Hopefully I showed that on. Okay guys, I'll be right back to wrap up this step. All right, <clears throat> back for what I believe is the final assembly of the radiator, minus maybe a few little touch-ups here and there, but I got the radiator with the panel line on the front and on the back. So that's all done. Um, we still have to get our vinyl tubing cut to size so we'll grab that and get that out um so we have everything the way it's supposed to so i'm going to grab and measure our vinyl tubing i'm going to make it just a hint bigger because last time I cut it exactly, and it just was a little, I don't know, a little tight. So that is E, and F is just ever so slightly bigger than E. So we'll keep them separate. F will go over there, and we will grab E right now and put it where it belongs. So E goes on this little peg right there, which if you look at the top of the radiator, it has, trying to get it so, it's hard for me to see sometimes. It has these two pegs right here. One, two. This first peg is E, that peg is F. So we're gonna grab E. I'm gonna try to make it a little wider. So it goes on a little bit easier. Sometimes by stretching it out, it'll slide on more better. More better. I like that term, more better. Now, hopefully, it'll shrink back down to size. Just gonna squeeze it around that peg. 
I have a feeling as soon as I go to move it, it's going to come off of there. So what I think I'm going to do is tap it with a little bit of glue. And hopefully, I don't know where that little splotch of silver came from. But we'll probably just have to touch that with a little flat black. All right. So um, I'm going to try to test fit it without widening it this time to see if it goes on okay. And it does. It wiggles right on. All right. So we have our vinyl tubing in place. So then it says to attach with these two knobs into the two holes that are on the upper parts of the frame here and on the other side. And then this hose right here, the black one, is going to come around and connect right to here. And then this little piece D2 is going to plug into a little hole here on the side. It just plugs right into this hole right there. So... We're going to see if we can do this without causing any problems. This also connects to the top part of the radiator. You'll see a little notch up here, this other tube over here. So we will put it right there and just kind of flex out a little bit. And there we go. And it just pops right on. And then I'm going to take a little bit of glue and I'm going to touch it right onto here where that pipe is going to connect this pipe right here. I'm just going to move everything in place. Make sure that goes into that hole right there. And we're going to make sure this seats right there. I'm gonna hold it down for a little bit just to kinda make sure it grabs. But not too much yet because I still gotta connect this one here too. That's the fun when you're trying to connect three or four parts together. They all have their own tolerances. So I'm going to use my thumb and just apply pressure so this seats. And when I'm looking, I can see where I can need to touch up a little silver here, a um, little flat black down here. This, I'm just going to try to hold all of these where they're supposed to glue. And then we'll just worry about touching up when it's all dry and all one unit. Fast forward time. Actually, probably cut scene time. So that way I can let go and say, ha, huh, done. It's still shifting. So, pop the glue down in here. It's going to be interesting trying to line these up. I'll probably end up using a little bit of super glue that dries a little bit faster. So while we're doing that, these don't connect to anything yet. We're going to connect those at another step. But we're going to go ahead and put this piece on, which goes into another hole in the back. So we're gonna get some glue right down in this part where that part's gonna sit on. As my sleeve catches it and about rips it out of my hand. Okay. I'm gonna 
grab this, put it, if you look back in that, in the part of the engine, there's a little part back in there that it has to go into. It's a little bitty hole. I'm trying to get it in there and right here. So what we'll do is we'll let it dry here and we'll try to see it's 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 not really clear where that goes but if you look down there there's actually a little hole I'm gonna have to use my second set of eyes so I can get down in there Well, you put these on, you realize there's a lot of stuff that I'm going to need to come back in and detail paint or touch up. I'm sorry. See, I don't think that goes to that little hole. I think something else goes in that little hole. Look at the directions a little bit. Yeah, it's showing it kind of, the arrow kind of curving around. So I think it just glues. I said there's a hole back there, but I think this just glues to another spot. So I'm going to use a little bit of super glue to try to talk these pieces into staying where they need to stay. Get a little bit on toothpick. Put a little put a little on that spot there. And just kind of hold it. Hold it where I think it needs to go, but hopefully that's where it needs to go. You think it would go into a hole, but if you look, ah, dang it. All right, that part is done. But if you look at where this was supposed to go, it's doing the same thing. It's just meeting up to a flat surface. So I don't know how all this is going to work. Trying to get the glue under there, and then we can just kind of push that down and hold it and wait till it sets up. We'll do that for all three of these hoses so that way we have good connections on everything. Because if you look right here, this hose right here is not connecting at all. There's a big gap there. So a little bit of fiddly is going on, but you know what? Sometimes that makes it fun. We don't want everything to go so flawless, right?
I know you don't care about your people. Why should you? They hate you, and you hate them. You're not a monster. All right. Now, we're going to, since that one's set, we're going to move this one up. Well, we're going to try. And now hold that one together till it seats. All right. Usually I let it sit as tight as I can for a minute. So let's let go and see what we got. Pretty good bond. Pretty good bond. There, there, down there. So everything is done on that step. Um, I'm going to come back, and if you can see where I've touched it, I've rubbed a little bit of paint here and there. So I'm going to just do a little bit of touch-up paint just to make myself happy. And we will call step number 19 done in the books. So we will get ready for step 20 which we have some, um, I don't know if these are fairing parts yet, but we've got like the speedometer and some interesting things. So that'll be step 20. We'll get that going. Um, appreciate you following along on this journey. Um, I'm enjoying it. I hope you are too. So I will see you next time. Thanks, guys.